Welcome back to my channel, you reach Natural Vibrations. This is an overview of the 2019 Twin Flame Energies. Now, <clears throat> this is just an overview, and uh, of course these are general, so they may not apply to everyone. If you wish to book a private reading where we can do an overview of what can be expected in your love situation, Twin Flame, Karmic, or Soulmate, you can book a reading now. Uh, I do have some openings for this month of December, so we do have some time. Uh, along with that, we also, <clears throat> I would also like to say that please do like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's a way for me to create more videos like these. It sort of takes care of the, you know, the costs that are involved. And also, <clears throat> it lets me know that you guys do appreciate what I do and is a form of energy exchange. All right, let's just get started. The overall energy for the month of, uh, for, sorry, for 2019 is Scorpio. The energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful, and magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive. All right, I'm going to read this from, <clears throat> from the book. Sorry, my throat's acting up. Ah. Uh. This is one of the most powerful zodiac signs in astrology, but also the most secretive. The energy is charismatic, mysterious, and bewitching, for at the heart of it, it needs to bring about great transformation, and Scorpio uses magnetic charm to achieve this. One can feel caught like a helpless prey in the spider's web when this energy is involved in the ha matter of hand, but who doesn't want to be lured into exotic and mystical excitement? This energy is known for its life-giving sexual expression, but it also involved with life-changing healing and transformation. In fact, it is likely that the two are linked because a potential generation of life in human bonding can be challenged into miraculous cures. The serpent winding up a staff has been a symbol of magic and healing from biblical times to present day. If you need healing and you, you have drawn this card, you have great spiritual support for this force generates love and intense power. Scorpio has a great ability to penetrate deeply and bring the truth to the surface. It is relentless in the pursuit of honesty and it will help to bring matters to a, he to a head and lay things bare. However, it can also reveal envy or possessiveness and sub subterfuge. Subterfuge, sorry. Oh, so first of all, this healing, this transformation, all right? It can be, you know, it can be lots of love this year, but it's also about being honest and being, facing the truth. I'm just going to finish this. You have a great power at your disposal now and, you can now, and you can do almost anything with it. But with great power comes great responsibility. So use it wisely and enjoy the intensity of your deep feelings, for you are truly in touch with the life force of the universe. So I'm already, <clears throat> the reason I'm kind of not being able to speak is I'm already feeling this heavy feeling from this card. And I feel that's because it's very overwhelming. I feel the month of, of the year of 2019, uh, what is going on? <laughs> it's all about facing the truth. It's about healing and letting the intense emotion that you and your, that both the divine masculine and the feminine feel for each other. I feel... For those partners who have been denying the feelings that they feel for their counterpart, it's going to now come to head. And they're going to have to sort of face it and be true to it. Okay? It may happen in the beginning, the middle or the end of the year next year. We don't know. Everybody's on a different cycle. But the feel this year is all about, you know, and it can obviously go into the negative. But I'm feeling there's going to be massive amounts of feelings and you know deep deep feelings coming to surface all right that they have been very quiet about for a while and that's the main theme for the year now we've got material world communication soulmate refocus and separation now, what this is telling me is that first this year, it's gonna, your material world is going to be in focus, all right? 
um, that means uh, finances are going to be in focus. Your job is going to be in focus for the both the divine masculine and the feminine. It's going to apply to either or both. Uh, money is going to be coming in this year. And I do think take this as a positive card. I feel the material world is going to be a focus in a good way. Communication and soulmate. Now, what this is telling me, it, it's like, um, it's about being in touch with, uh, <clears throat> the soulmate and communication card is telling me that there's going to be communication between you and your twin. And that can actually lead to some kind of partnership. Uh, for those of you that have not been in touch with your twin, this is a big sign 2019 that communication can happen. You know, that's a big, a big positive sign that there is going to be communication. There's also going to be a refocus away from separation. And this is what I'm getting, that those of you that were sep in separation, there's going to be a refocusing of that energy. And I'm getting that because we got the soulmate card, I take this as a triumph over the separation card. So there's going to be a refocus away from separation towards the soulmate, towards communication. There's also going to be a refocus on the work. So those of you that have been having a tough time with their work and their career, this is a time for refocus. The universe is saying you've got to love yourself first. You've got to flirt. We've got, it is safe for you to love. This is telling me <clears throat> that 2019 is all about a being very light-hearted okay not ha even though the energies are very strong it's about learning that even though the feelings are so strong you could still be a bit light-hearted about the situation you know you don't have to take things so seriously the feelings are very intense and they're gonna come to the surface but be a bit more laid back about it okay and that's the advice this year is also about loving yourself. Self-love has been important throughout this journey and it's going to continue to be important in 2019. But at the same time, both partners or one of either are going to come to the conclusion that it is safe to commit to this relationship. It is safe to love and which is why communication is happening and refocus away from separation because it is safe for you to love. There are fear. If, so, if you're loving yourself and that has become a big important focus, then you start feeling safe in the situation you're in. We've also got slow down. Now slow down goes very well with the patience card. What this is telling us is that a couple of things. For the divine feminine, it's about learning that you need to be patient. And I know I keep saying this and I know you guys hate it, but you might have to be a little patient with, to make things turn around. But at the same time, for the divine masculine, because they have, might have be facing such intense feelings and coming to terms with it, the universe is telling them, slow down. I know you want to take, you know, you figured something out and now you just want to run to it and you just want to like go head on, but you got to slow down and take things one step at a time. You don't want to rush into things and then be overwhelmed and then pull back again. We don't want that. So the, this could be for the divine masculine, just slow down. For the divine feminine, it's patience. You know, that's going to be important even in 2019. Then we've got, I love you. The only thing that is real is love. And love who you are. Now, love who you are, again, all about self-love. So again, self-love is very, very important in 2019 as well. Okay, this never stops. This is going to come up every year because it's always important. There, now, love is the only thing that's real and I love you is telling me that despite the separation, despite not being in connection with each other, both parties are going to realize how much they love each other and that the only thing that matters is the love. Nothing else is real. Nothing else matters. The only thing that matters is love. And in 2019, it's going to be clear that there is this deep love which cannot be denied. And you know what? I know the divine feminines already feel it. But what I'm getting is going to be mutual. I'm getting is going to be mutual from both sides. Another important message for 2019 is boundaries. Where do you need to establish your better boundaries and know? What I'm getting is that both the divine masculine and the divine feminine in 2019 have to establish powerful boundaries with things and people that no longer serve them. Divine Feminine, you need to create a boundary where you do not get affected 
by other people's emotions, especially your divine masculines, because they're going to be going through a lot, right? And you cannot be affected by their highs and lows. you got to create that energy boundary where you are protected and you are stable. At the same time, it's about saying no, no to old patterns. This is for the divine masculine as well. Saying no to karmic situations, saying no to people, energy and situation that do not serve you and creating a boundary, energy boundary from people that influence you towards the negative and don't allow you to be who you're meant to be. So this year, it's all about just being who you are meant to be and I really feel that and I'm going to pick one more dear universe just an additional message what does 2019 look for all twin flames what's 2019 all about for twin flames can we just get intellectual thoughts words and in an analysis the wind fairy okay it's telling you it's all about your mindset. It's all about how you think. This year, it's very important, 2019, to focus on the kind of thoughts you have. The negative vibrations, the negative thoughts you have are going to manifest negative aspects. So you really got to focus and have control over your thoughts, all right? That's very, very important. And then there you go. The night grill is, again, all about seeking love outside when you need to find the love within. Okay, again, we've got the self-love card again and again. 2019, guys, whoever's watching, self-love is the most important thing. If you want all of this to happen, which it can happen and will happen, self-love. And this is for the Divine Masculine as well. Self-love is the most important thing. All right, guys, this was a quick overview. I will, of course, be doing all the monthlies and, you know, every so every week or whatever readings. But just to give you a bit of overview on what to take care of and what to pay attention to in 2019 if you're a twin flame. All right, take care. Bye.